I know, wanted to start your video, Cancer, with a little flame burning bright for you. Yes, let's do a fortune reading. I got... It, I know YouTube's going to catch me with that double chin face, too. Fine. <laughs> Cancer knows I embrace me, right? So we're going to do a fortune reading with my fortune telling deck today. Okay, so at, this is a time for you to ask my deck a simple question. You know, one that can be answered with a yes or no, maybe so, whatever. Okay, so this could be within business, relationships, whatever you want to ask, okay? Remember, this reading is general today, so take what resonates and leave the rest. If you want your own private reading, I can do that. I can add in these fortune-telling cards, too. We can really narrow down some um, answers for you, okay? Um, I'm doing this for all the signs, so make sure to check out some of the other videos on the channel, too, Cancer, because you're not just your sun sign. This is if you've got heavy cancer in your chart, even, okay? Um, you Cross-watchers, you're welcome here, too. So... Let's see what story wants to come out for Cancer. I really um, feel good coming into your reading. I fueled myself. So meaning like instead of my pushing myself through a morning kind of ritual of I'm going to do a bunch of videos and then I'm going to have um, my later lunch, I felt like I really needed to fuel my body. I was running on empty. It felt like, and so I was like, oh, I'm just going to take a nice, lovely break and cook myself a homemade meal, which was really d d delicious, and I feel good. So, yeah, maybe that's your vibe right now, really taking care of your temple. I mean, I'm recording this. This is a timeless reading, but I'm recording it during the Taurus season. Honk is what I heard outside. Yeah, I'm right on track with you, Cancer. Okay nourishing your body you know like when we cook food for ourselves we're infusing it with love it's that self-love that nurturing i'm not gonna starve my body i'm gonna feed it and i'm gonna feed it well kind of a feeling so think of the question this is for cancer cancer let's answer their questions cancer for cancer sun moon rising venus cancer at the end of this reading, Cancer, I will provide you with oracle cards, too, from my heart and soul oracle deck. So stay tuned. Thank you to all of my followers. I love you guys. Thanks for the good karma donations, for watching the video all the way through, for sharing it, liking it. Oh, and interacting with me has been so nice. Thank you. I love you guys. What do I got for Cancer today? Cancer, deck's being quiet until we warm. Let's warm it up a bit. All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, I got a couple cards on the table. The way I do this reading is depending where the cards fly, too, where they lie, where they fly. Hmm, hmm, interesting how I'm using those types of words. Indeed is the first answer out, indeed. So I'm going to put that over here. I kind of separate the yes and no answers or the positive, negative, whatever you want, however you want to see it. And see what story wants to come out between the, the energies as well. So bear with me as we go through this because we're not just going through the deck once. Okay. Zero chance. See, that's what I'm telling you. Like, uh, I'm tuning into a lot of energies, right? So let's see uh, what story, which one of you I want to connect with today. So zero chance. So definitely not, okay? Zero chance and indeed. And you're having a laugh about it right in the center. Absolutely not and absolutely yes. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Cancer. But you're laughing about it. A laughing about an indecision. Laugh, uh, laughing about two complete opposites or uh, opposites parts of you laughing about it. Okay, we'll see what else comes out for cancer. 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 Tell me, let's answer their questions. Cancer. 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 This is a question in the past that you may still want answers to. It's a past energy. It falls over here on this side, okay? Cards over here on this side are future energies. Okay? Oh, there's two from the past, and then there's two on the table here. Weather permitting, 
and guaranteed. I just feel so much extremes in both ways. <gasps> With that zero chance and now guaranteed and you're having a laugh about it. Okay. And now with weather permitting, you, I got to talk about this because it's been coming out a lot in my readings for with this new deck. Weather permitting is like there's conditions around something, restrictions around something. It could be even moods or emotions of a person possibly or of yourself, you know, like some days it's sunny and I'm bright and, you know, and sunshiny rainbows and other days I'm in... You know, uh, it's gray and cloudy and sad and, uh, you know, and some days it, I'm a bundle of fire and passion and uh, vicious words, possibly. Who knows? Weather permitting, it's condition. It also is speaking to conditional love, perhaps, if you're speaking, if you're, at your, uh, yeah, if you're, if your question was about that. So, weather permitting, that's what it means in these types of readings, okay? It's conceivable. It is conceivable. And a maybe. There's only one zero chance. There's only one negative, really. I mean, I do feel like this in some cases, too, is a sense of procrastination, Cancer. Like, oh, I'm waiting for the weather to get better. I'm waiting for my finances to get better. I'm waiting for a sunnier day. I'm waiting till I'm not in fear. I'm waiting because this is my plan. I didn't plan to have kids, so I'm waiting. I'm waiting. You know, something like that. I'm waiting until I'm the, you know, so there's procrastination that comes with this. Under no circumstances was the underlying energy. So setting some boundaries here, too, is what I feel for you, Cancer, with the zero chance and under no circumstances. So what else for cancer? What else for cancer? I like to go through the deck, you know, three times or so, see what else. Okay, some thought in the future here. These cards fell over to the right. Um, and that's, hmm, and a yes. And, hmm, it's a no. Oh my God, it's like you're, a, it's like an opposite to tract energy. Yang Yang energy, I feel. I mean, oh my God, the like complete opposite energy here, but mirror energy, right? Oh man, hmm, a lot of thought, a lot of pondering, a lot of indecision. <laughs> I just get, I mean, I'm kind of shocked here. Oh, this is fucking fantastic. I'm tired. Ask me later. Somebody needs some rest. Somebody's procrastinating. Ask me later, weather permitting. Okay, there's procrastination here. All right. And indecision. And it's really clear that indecision. Yes. Flip flop. Yes. No. Teeter totter energy. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Let's give them a, let's give them a future advice More future advice. Because there's a lot of hmm han over here. Hmm han. What's the future advice? Answer, answer their questions. Getting some more answers from the ah, from the past. That is a huge chunk. Well, let me shuffle one more time through. There's still some. Maybe you're sifting through the past and finding answers too. Cancer, answer their question. Future advice. Future advice. Future advice. I guess I got all the, I guess I got all the answers. They, they, they went quiet. All right, over here in the past, we've got, ask me closer to the time. Conditions, again. I'm tired, ask me later. Ask me closer to the time, maybe I'll make up my mind. Like being, being hung out like on a string or something. Like, dang, like, I don't know, like, I don't know what the term is for that. What is that? Without a doubt, and surely not. In the past, there were a lot of doubts, a lot of conditional love, a lot of doubts, yeah. A lot of pushing somebody off, pushing questions off, pushing love off. Yeah. Guarded energy with that, yeah. 
not getting closure. Ask me closer to the time. Like keeping you in limbo. That's a limbo. That's what it is. Hmm. Very interesting. So what's on this? There's a lot of back and forth here. I see cancer. I don't know what you asked. I'm tuning into a lot of energies, but there's a big negative on the floor in the future here. You'll see it. Okay. Let's make sure one more time. I don't like to rush these readings. So there are quick ones, but like, is there another answer for cancer for their future? Yeah. And it keeps going back to the past. So there's answers in the past that'll help guide the future. It keeps coming out from the past. Okay. All right. In no way, in no way, in no way. And remember last time the future advice was a negative. So for these answers from the past, it was one. Yeah. Might be, which is just clarifying the doubt in the past. Again. There's a lot of cards out here, by the way, for you. A lot of answers coming is what I'm saying, too. If you didn't get the answer to your question now, you will. But it's going to be after a lot of, I don't know. This, there's polar opposites here within a situation. Not like, no compromise. It's real, yeah. I'm this way, you're that way. It's that, yeah. Needing space and time to think, by the way, with that I'm tired, ask me later. All right, I got two cards out here for cancer. I'm going to read this one first because, I mean, look at this. We don't even see what kind of, well, what was this a picture of? I mean, there's so many beautiful cards in this deck, by the way, you know, <laughs> like, and this is one where it's like, things may, yeah. I think you're experiencing an ending and a new beginning coming, and it's blurry yet. You don't know yet the new beginning. You can't even see what's depicted here. Really, things are fuzzy and blurry. Mm -hmm. Something you love may be coming to an end, and it's only natural for you to be saddened. However, this ending also provides a new beginning, and all unfolds for your highest good. Life is full of transformation, and with a new beginning comes a new chapter in the story that is you. You've got an angel here wrapping some rainbow wings around you. An angel surrounds you with rainbow wings, here to reconnect you with your true nature, the balanced, healthy, sensitive, and loving you. Remember that there is more to life than your achievements. Consciously connecting your spiritual and physical realities will help you reconnect to the sacred, infinite, and creative part of yourself that is yearning to play a greater role in your life. Okay. Big hugs for you from your angel. Maybe rainbow is your sign, you know, and your angels are wanting you to reconnect with your true nature, the balanced, healthy you, you know, and that's why it was important for me to um, cancer to talk about like really taking care of myself with the food that I was cooking for myself, you know, and nurturing my temple before I even started this reading. Okay. It's important. So I hope you got some sort of beautiful message out of this today. Um, I know that answers may not seem clear right now, um, but in the future, yeah, you're going to get a lot of information from the past, which is, whoop, yep, it's all going to be falling right. <clears throat> it's all going to fall right into your lap, just like my cards react like this. The answers will fall right into your lap, but they're coming from the past a lot, okay, which was only going to provide healing in, uh, for your future self. Okay, my loves? Angels with you. They're wrapping their wings around you, Cancer. I love you. Take care of you. Drop me some love down below if you enjoyed it today. I like to know what my followers like, you know, like the variety of the readings that I'm providing. I'd like to see which ones you guys watch the most and which ones you comment the most on. So even if it's just an emoji, bless you, darlings. I love you.